and welcome to RSPN, Rama Sports Publication Network. I'm Claire Freeman. And I'm Alexis Page. Tonight we're having a special segment for our viewers about ACL injury prevention. Let's get started. The anterior cruciate ligament, also known as the ACL, is a very important stabilizer of the knee. There are approximately 100,000 to 200,000 ACL ruptures per year in the United States alone. These injuries are common amongst professional and recreational athletes. A ligament is a tough band of tissue that connects one bone to another. The ACL connects to the thigh bone, which is the femur, and connects to the shin bone, which is the tibia. It prevents these bones from extending beyond a normal angle and guards against over-rotation. Approximately 70% of the injuries are non-contact and occur when an athlete is trying to change directions, slow down, or land a jump. Orthopedic studies confirm that female athletes are at a 2 to 10 times greater risk to develop an ACL tear depending on the sport. In soccer, females are 3 to 5 times more likely to sustain an ACL tear. Among basketball players, females are 2 to 7 times greater risk for injury. A pop is heard approximately 70% of the time. Athletes commonly say that they felt one or more pops or cracks. Swelling occurs within a few hours, and nearly all patients develop bleeding in their knee joint. An ACE wrap, ice, and knee mobilizer, if available, should be applied. Crutches should be used. An evaluation at the emergency room is advised to obtain x-rays. Most ACL reconstructions are performed with a small incision about 3 centimeters. A piece of tendon is placed into the knee to replace the torn ACL. The piece of tendon is secured in the sockets in the femur and in the tibia. This piece of tendon can be secured with many different types of metal, plastic, or bioabsorbable implants. No, older, less active patients can do without reconstruction if they participate in rehabilitation to modify their activities. Yes, there are now advances in physical therapy that allow patients to increase the range of motion, decrease swelling and pain, and regain control of, and strength of their muscles more quickly. Physical therapy generally starts two days after the surgery and can last between three to four months. The outcome is successful more than 90% of the time. The retail rates are usually less than 5% in most studies. A return to sports usually takes about four to six months. There are many different programs that are being used to help athletes decrease their chances of ACL tear. The program focuses on exercises that make muscles surrounding the knee more strong and flexible. We are going to demonstrate a couple of stretches that mainly focus on strengthening the muscles around the knee. Right here, we're just walking heel to butt. Right here, we're doing simple leg cradles. Right here is a high knee walk. Knee to chest and just pulling up. Right now we're doing simple squats. Right now we're just doing alternate leg lunges. And that concludes our special segment tonight. I'm Alexis Page. And I'm Claire Freeman. Make sure you turn in tomorrow for another broadcast of RSPN.